thanks for joining us for another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. I'm Brian. This is still Dave. We research it so you don't gotta. Whoop whoop. We've had a lot of requests from fans to do a follow-up episode to our supplements video. Wait. Wait. We got fans? When that happened? Shut up. Last time, uh, we had said that the trying to build muscle, there are only two things that you should be taking. Protein and creatine. But I know what you're asking. Yeah, there got to be some other helpful supplements out there that will work in your body to help you with your goals. So let's talk about some of the other things that we can recommend to give you that edge in the gym. This one's just a muscle building episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. That's good, man. That's real good. Yeah, if you want to build some muscle, you came to the right gym. Dave. Boom! It's not going to build muscle, but uh, what it will do is give you focus in the gym and energy you won't believe. Craze gets my brain buzzing and gets me pumped to lift every goddamn thing in the goddamn gym. Yeah, that gym attendant didn't like being lifted up like that. Yeah, warm up weight, B. He tried to tase me afterwards, so I got my cardio on too. Although Craze is a number one pre-workout that we take before hitting the gym, we suggest that you experiment with pre-workout drinks or pills. They can definitely help on days that you're not quite feeling like giving it your all. Now if you're looking to get some extra blood in your muscles, get the pump like Arnold back in the day. We also recommend a little thing for you called nitrous oxide or NO. Boom! In this case, NO means yes, for getting more oxygen into your bloodstream and increasing the blood flow that can help you repair the muscles once it's been damaged. It's not as good as creatine, but it also has other proven uses as a biological regulator and helps protect organs and neurological functions. NO was the molecule of the year in 1992, B. True story. It's all famous and shit. Well, let's revisit creatine for a minute since we're back on the subject. Man, that's my favorite subject. Before, we said we recommend creatine monohydrate in powder form, but there are lots of creatine monohydrate powders that are out there that are all different for companies, and unfortunately, uh, contain different amounts of creatine also. We recommend Crea Pure. The pure shit. It's from Germany, but it's not hard to find. Can't afford it? Just buy your creatine at Walmart. Seriously, it'll still do the job. Oh, and you know what else, B? You know, um... Uh... Something else I just found out. If you go to your local vitamin shop location, you can get you a whole mess of creatine. On the cheap, 13 bucks a container this big. I would boom it if it was here. I'd boom! Pure creatine. Yeah. Now, now, some motherfuckers are actually immune to the effects of creatine. Your body won't absorb that shit even if you take the best stuff out there. It's true. There are some people out there that who won't see effects from creatine. If you've been taking it correctly for a month or two and see no results, that could be you. Maybe too much creatine and your body will break it down into creatine. Creatine, creatine, is that, is that right? That's right, creatine. All right, yeah, and then it'll just go to your kidneys and get pissed out. Just literally pissing your money away. Literally. Yeah. Don't believe that shit about preloading creatine either. It's the supplement companies trying to snatch up all your cheddar. Your body will absorb it just the same whether you start off taking it three times a day or once a day. Be patient. Take it once a day. And forget the preloading they ask you to do on the bottle. Your bank account will thank us later. Oh, hey, yo. My supplement dealer introduced me to a new creatine product the other day. Hold up. I brought some to demonstrate for you. Let me just get this set up here. I got to tie this thing off. Water, Dave. Nah, B, this shit gets absorbed right into your bloodstream. I could use some water, though, nice and cold, maybe with some ice chips in that B. Dave. I fine. What should you look for when you're trying to choose a supplement that works for you? First off, I'll tell you all straight up. Don't buy anything based on a proprietary blend. That shit is whack. They don't have to tell you how much of anything there is in that blend. You could be getting one gram of beta alanine shit, you don't even know it, and they don't tell you. Proprietary blends are just ways that a company can justify charging you more money for a product that they usually have trendy ingredients, or sometimes even unclear products, 
you've never heard of before. And you better stay away from testosterone boosters, dog. They promise to give you steroid-like results, but, you know, we don't even like to talk about that crazy shit. Because of the amount of testosterone the product will allow your body to produce won't be enough over your normal production to make any sort of noticeable difference. We're talking about 20% testosterone increase, if you're lucky. Now, that's about 7 milligrams of testosterone a day. Yeah. And maybe in the future, if we ever talk about steroids and some other options, we could go into more detail. But for now, let's just talk about it as it is. A weak anabolic steroid will give you about 500 milligrams extra a day of testosterone, and that shit works. Although the test booster can get you shake weight wiggling a little more vigorously if you're looking for some support, if you know what I mean. You know. Yeah, you're not building muscle using a test. To get your dick hard! That's what I meant! Makes that mushroom tip all swell. Dave! Yeah. Sorry. So what supplement should you be taking after the gym when you've gotten that pump from your NO and your creatine is moving that protein into your muscles? You should have yourself a balanced meal. Get you some carbs, some proteins, some simple sugars in your system. Help you replenish those glycogen levels in your body. Agreed. No supplement is really effective enough to replace the nutrients you get from a good meal. But if you don't have time, a protein shake will do the job for you until you can make something more substantial. Don't worry about that bro science that says you have a one hour window to eat or else you wasted your whole workout. That shit ain't true. Your body does most of it to prayer while you're sleeping your ass off at night. The truth is, with your supplements in general, your body isn't going to use whatever you put in your body right away. Your body has to absorb it. Your pre-workout is your only real exception because it's giving you energy beforehand to do your workout. And you know what? Don't blend the pre-workouts together either. That shit will be like, fuck you! And your heart will explode and it'll be like, clean up, stupid ass on IL-8. Now to save money, I just usually put my own, own pre-workouts with stuff I have around the house. I wouldn't advise that. It's fine, B. I'm saving these folks some money with my advice. Hold on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up for you. Last time I slammed that down, this shit exploded. You used supplies from under the sink, didn't you? A little Drano helps burn fat, B. And the Windex makes it taste so spicy. Whether you use the supplements we recommend, or simply can't afford them, it's okay, you can still build muscle. Just keep your diet in check, eat a little more calories than your body needs, so it has enough energy to build you up stronger and bigger. And try to increase your weight, or the amount of reps you do each week, and you'll get that body you want. Supplements are just there to supplement your regular diet, and make shit easier for you. They're there for an edge, but you can't rely on them. Thanks for watching another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. We research it so you don't gotta. <laughs> These fumes from my pre-workout are making me dizzy. I think I'm getting fucked up, dog. <laughs> Man, I gotta open a window. <laughs> this is a dangerous group is it groups that we're dealing with now.